Hi, history and mathematics can play a significant role in the design of curriculum. A survey of events in research could lead to suggestions for new topics to be introduced. History and mathematics will help the students to adapt successful methods and avoid unwanted procedure. Thereby, one can save time and energy. Now, I am going to share about the contributions of Ramanujan in mathematics. Srinivasa Ramanujan, one of the India's great mathematical genius, was born in his grandmother's house in Erod, a small village about 400 kilometers southwest of Madras on 22nd December 1887. His father worked in Kumbahonam as a clerk in the cloth mason shop. In 1917, he was hospitalized his doctors fearing for his life. By late 1918, his health had improved. He returned to India in 1919, but his health failed again. He died in the next year. Five year old, he joined in the primary school. January 1898, he studied the town high school in Kumbakon. 1904, he got scholarship. 1906, he entered into the Pachayapas College. In 14 July 1909, he married 10 year old girl of uh, yes, Jani Amma. 1911, his first paper published 17 page works on Bernanis Numbers, Journal of the Indian Mathematical Society. Ramanujam was appointed to the post of clerk and began his duties on 1st March 1912. 1914, he went to England. 1916, Cambridge University granted him Bachelor of Science degree. 1919, he returned to India. It is one of the most romantic stories in the history of mathematics. In 1913, the English mathematician G. H. Hardy received a strange letter from an unknown clerk in Madras, India. The 10-page letter contained about 120 statements of theorems on infinite series, improper integrals, continued fractions and number theory. Every prominent mathematician gets letter from Cranks and at the first glance Hardy no doubt put this letter in that class. But sometimes about the formulas made him take a second look and show it to his collaborator J. E. Littlewood. After a few hours they concluded that the results must be true because if they were not true, no one would have had the imagination to invent them. Thus was Srinivasa Ramanujan introduced to the mathematical world. He was born in Irde, Tamil Nadu, best known for hemlums and temples. Ramanujan first encountered formal mathematics at the age of 10. He demonstrated natural ability and was given books on advanced trigonometry written by S. L. Lone. He had mastered them by the age of 12 and even discovered theorems of his own. He demonstrated unusual mathematical skills at school, winning accolades and awards. By 17, Ramanujan conducted his own mathematical research on Bernoulli's number and euler mascheroni constant. He received a scholarship to study at government college in Kumbakonam, but lost it when he failed his non-mathematical coursework. He joined another college to pursue independent mathematical research working as a clerk in the Accounts General's office at the Madras Port Trust to support himself. In 1912-1913, he sent samples of his theorems to three academics at the University of Cambridge. G. H. Hardy recognized the brilliance of his work, subsequently inviting Ramanujan to visit and work with him at Cambridge. He became a fellow of Royal Society and a fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. Ramanujan introduced himself and his work by saying, I have had no university education, but I have undergone the ordinary school course. 
After leaving school, I have been employing the spare time at my disposal to work at mathematics. I have not trodden through the conventional regular course which is followed in the university course. But I am striking out a new path for myself. I have made special investigations to divergent series in general and the result I get are termed by the local mathematician as startling. During his short lifetime, Ramanujan independently compiled nearly 3,900 results, although a small number of these results were actually false and some were already known. But most of his claims have now been proven correct. He stated results that were both original and highly unconventional such as Ramanujan prime and the Ramanujan theta function and these have inspired a vast amount of further research. However, some of his major discoveries have been rather slow to enter the mathematical mainstream. Recently, Ramarujan's family have found applications in crystallography and string theory. The Ramanujan Journal, an international publication, was launched to publish work in all areas of mathematics influenced by his work. By the end of November 1918, Hardy wrote in a letter, he will return to India with a great scientific standing and reputation such as no Indian has enjoyed before. And I am confident that India will regard him as the treasure he is. His natural simplicity and modesty has never been affected in the least by the success. Indeed, all that is wanted is to get him to realize that he is really a success. Now, I am going to know the contributions of Ramanujan in mathematics. Ramanujan made substantial contribution to the analytical theory of numbers and worked on elliptic functions, continued fractions and infinite. 1900, he began to work on his own on mathematics, some geometric and arithmetic series. He worked on divergent series. He sent 120 theorems on implied divisibility properties of Cartesian functions. He gave a meaning of Eulerian second integral for all values of n. He proved that the integral of x power n minus 1 e power minus 7 is equal to gamma is a true for all values of gamma. Goldberg conjecture. Goldberg conjecture is one of the important illustration of Ramanujan contributions towards the proof of conjecture. The statement is every even integers greater than 2 is the sum of 2 primes that is 6 is equal to 3 plus 3. Ramanujan and his associates have shown that every large integer could be written as the sum of at, at most 4. Example 43 is equal to 2 plus 5 plus 17 plus 19. Partitions of whole numbers. Partitions of whole numbers is another similar problem that captures Ramanujan's attention. Subsequently, Ramanujan developed a formula for the partitions of any number which can be made to yield the required result by the series of successive approximation. Example, 3 is equal to 3 plus 0 is equal to 1 plus 2 or 1 plus 1 plus 1. Fermat theorem. He also did considerable work on the undersolved Fermat theorem which states that prime number of the form 4m plus 1 is the sum of two squares. Ramanujan's number 1729 is a famous Ramanujan number. It is the smaller number which can be expressed as a sum of two cubes in the two different ways. 1729 is equal to 1 cube plus 12 cube. 1729 is equal to 9 cube plus 10 cube. Cubic equation and quantity equation. Ramanujan was shown how to solve cubic equation in 1902 and he went on to find his own method to solve quadratic. The following year, not knowing that the quantity could not be solved by radicals, he tried to solve the quantity, either constant. 
by 1907 ramanujam had begun to undertake deep research he investigated the series and correlated ilus concept to 15 decimal places hypergeometric series he worked hypergeometric series and investigated relations between integrals and series he was to discover later that he had been studying ecliptic functions ramanujan's own work on partial sum of and products of hypergeometric series have led to major development in the topic journal of the indian mathematical society ramanujan continued to develop his mathematical ideas and began to pose problems and solve problems in the journal of indian mathematical society he developed relations between elliptic modular questions in 1990 bernoulli's numbers he published a brilliant research papers on bernoulli numbers in 1911 in the journal of indian mathematical society and gained recognition for this work despite his lack of university education he was becoming well known in the madras areas as a mathematical genius he began to study the bernoulli's numbers although this was entirely his own independent discovery ramanujan independently discovered research as gauss kumar and others on hypergeometric series ramanujan discovered a number of remarkable identities that imply divisibility properties of the partition functions he also produced quite a number of results in the definite integrals in the form of general formulae besides his published work ramanujan left behind several notebooks filled with theorems that mathematicians had continued to study the english mathematician jean watson from 1918 to 1951 published 14 papers under the general title term theorems stated by ramanujan and in all the published nearly 30 papers which were inspired by ramanujan work in 1997 Ramanujan journal was launched to publish work in the areas mathematics influenced by Ramanujan i hope that all of us to have the contributions of ramanujan in mathematics thank you